Something ate all my spinach. What the hell? Sorry, I was hungry. It wasn't even good. It was good. I was hungry. But look, there's our little romaines. And the dill is doing amazing. Are you going to say hi to YouTube? What's up, YouTube? I'm still alive. We're fine. Just uh, haven't had good content lately. Uh, we're busy doing other things that weren't, aren't that car, fun. Weren't fun or car related kind of things. So, but uh, we're trying to take the Mustang out, and she uh, wanted to be slow in gear, which means low tranny fluid. But tell him. So when we had to rebuild the guy, the tranny guy, he's, he's a scientist. So he uh, converted it to a it's a C4 transmission, which should run on Type F fluid, right? But he rebuilt it with a new kit, a modern kit that runs on full synthetic. So it's a full synthetic oil. So you can't buy that at Ace or anywhere. You can't, you got to go to the auto parts store. But thank God I had some full synthetic tranny uh, fluid from the Blazer, which I didn't even know I had. All right. So now we're trying to fill it up, but we got this funnel full of dirt. What? Not at our house. Which is not going to help our transmission problem. No. So now we're trying to fix that. And the tires were down to 30 pounds. And, yeah, uh, I think I think what it's saying is it needs to be driven. Yeah, Bucatero, yesterday I cleaned it up, the old white fair lane, and we, uh, I took it on a long drive, I drove it all day, and uh, Shelby was on me, you you know, you haven't, we haven't driven Bucatero in a long time, you know, so I cleaned it up, and uh, put some fresh gas in it, and checked it all out, and took it on a long drive, so that one's good now, now we're doing the Mustang. And I took, uh, I've been driving the old Red Fair Lane quite a bit. I took it out on a long drive the other day. Well, that's good. So, uh, you know. But I got to show you the engine on uh, the Mustang. Well, you know, nature, right? You know, <laughs> nature. And... So let's go see. Let's go yeah. see. There she is in all her glory. But let's see if it will show up. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's been... Those, a, we've actually been driving it. Those poor little spiders are trying to get ready for winter. We've actually been uh, driving it quite a bit. So how low is oh, it? Now it's telling me it has some fluid. Oh. What's going on here? Uh, but you said it was having trouble getting in gear. We're going to have to start it again. Check it. Alright. Before we start dumping a bunch of fluid in it. Yeah, that'd be... You know, it, the sometimes these C4s like to do that when they're cold. There's a certain thing that wears out on them that, you know, that that happens. But this thing got low miles. Like, I don't even know how many miles on this transmission. Maybe Not a lot. Maybe 15,000 or something. I don't know. I think that's generous. I mean, we did it seven years ago. Look, they're all they're all just getting in the frame saying, hi, we got we're still here. Yoda. Yoda's having issues. Her time may be limited. And I don't think we ever told him about the truck. What, a truck died? Uh, caught fire? Oh yeah, it caught fire on me. <laughs> I almost burned the whole hill down. I went to, I thought I could do a couple of gravel runs. See, and, people are gonna be like, you said it's been boring. Well, I d that happened when I was at work, I so. I thought I could do a couple of gravel runs in it, so I started it up and it popped out the carburetor. I kept trying to start it and then it wouldn't start. All of a sudden, smoke started coming out right here by the windshield in the hood. Uh -huh. Started pouring up. I go, holy cow, it must be electrical fire. So I popped the hood and it's all on fire. The whole thing's on fire. Not mine. Not, not mine. just like when your carburetor pops and you have a little fire coming uh -huh. out. No, not like that. I'm talking, it was on fire. Everything was on fire. And I said, oh my God, I'm going to burn the whole county, you know? Mm -hmm. so, I, so I run, it's parked way over here. You're never supposed to put... Where uh, it is right now, right? Yeah, you're never supposed to put water on a gasoline fire because the, the, the gas will flow on the water. And the water will bring it to everything else. Right. So you'll burn weeds, everything right. will catch fire. I didn't have any options. So I took a, I had a five gallon bucket of water full. I ran and dumped the whole five gallon bucket on it. And it, it put all the fire out that was burning like around. Mm -hmm. And it was still burning. All the carburetor was still burning. The yeah. air filter was burning. Uh -huh. And uh, so I didn't even have a shirt on. So like, you know, you normally could smother, you take your shirt mm -hmm. off. So I didn't even have a shirt on. You don't say. So then I ran and I got a garden uh, potter bag thing. And I just put it right like over the canvas. carburetor. Yeah, I just put it right over the carburetor and poof, it went out. And uh, it's all black. The hood's all black. And uh, Oh, you finally told them? Yeah, and uh, it got it got pretty hot. The uh, This thing, the uh, 
Well, the reservoir. mist is an overflow, but on, on Phyllis, it's a window washer fluid. Uh -huh. It melted. A lot of things. The air filter all melted up. Uh, we'll but have to it, show them. But as far as wiring goes, it's fine. Ugh. It's fine. So I decided I'm not touching it again until I rip it apart. Yeah. You know, or whatever someone else does. Mm -hmm. So. Good morning, guys. So yeah, so that's it. But Ranchero's on my list anyway, so I'm not worried. Next year, starting January, I'm going to get that on the road. I'm going to get tags on it. I'm going to get a water pump. I'm going to start driving it. And then after. And then Phyllis is in my mind, but, you know, so is camping. Yeah. Yeah, and so there's a life. and there's a Nova I want. Well, you, you're doing braces. You know that that's what you're doing now. Well, anyways, so I got to start this up and see what the heck's going on with this transmission. All right. Go ahead. Yep. That's a 302. What? No! No! Quite a mile. You think he just likes to sit right there? Yeah. They just run back and forth on the cross member. Well, I'm glad it's on the stick now, but I was concerned it was two quarts low. And when they're two quarts low, they don't, uh, they don't move. Right. At a quart low, that's about where they're at. When they have trouble. So what's it telling you now? So we're good now. It's yeah. just a little smoky. Yeah. Portable synthetics. Yep. Yeah, so she's solid now. She goes right into gear. So, but it's kind of scary because it was more, I don't know, at least a quart low. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. Science and evaporation and sitting. Science. Don't. Yeah. Don't. You Why know, doesn't it work? Because Shelby doesn't listen. You know, just because this car used to be a Scientologist. Stop. Mean I now you said that. Now this video is either going to get out too many likes or views it or was none. The car, not us. We brought it back. And we, we brought it into uh, Christianity. <laughs> but no, uh, we made it a believer. Wow. Uh, we have faith in it. <laughs> but, but anyways, yeah, so I'm going to keep this in the car just in case. All right, well. Because, because you know what? We don't know why I lost that court, right? Yeah. I don't see anything going on. You know, it's got a yeah, whistle or I something. See stuff. Well, it's a nice battery. What year was that? 22. Why is it so clean still? Because you're old. I mean, so we're going, we're going, ago. we're going out to the big city today. Yeah. Uh, it's. Brad and I are gonna have a date without the child. We're gonna. Well, I'm going to a birthday party. I was trying to be clean. I'm going to a birthday party. Look at. Oh my God. Do that again. Let me see that again. Dad, it looks like you're gay. You know. You know I. Uh, 
You know, I, I tried. To, you know, I didn't realize how dirty my my hands get. And, uh, oh my God! Don't tell this story. A friend of ours, they they came to visit and they got a little uh, resort hotel, <laughs> and it had the hot tub and everything. So we spent a couple of days barbecuing and hanging on the hot tub. Oh yeah. Well, I never seen my hands so white. I mean, everything was white. The nails, the come cuticles. on, that's that doesn't say much. That's only saying bad for you. Well, I could shower all day. It doesn't get clean like when you're in a hot tub. You're boiling yourself. <laughs> You know, so that's I didn't even know. Like now, I now I look at myself and I think of a hot tub. Like I need the hot tub. Yeah. Then get a hot tub. I want a hot what tub. Do, do you hear the generator wait, wait, running? Put it in the back of the ranchero. A hot tub in the back of the There's ranchero. There's too many holes. Or Phyllis. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. It's not too hot though. It's perfect driving Mustang weather. Cool. Look at this tire. Yeah. You guys want to hear about this tire? No, but you're going to tell us anyway. It looks dirty as hell on the camera. Okay, well this tire, Yeah. basically, when, when, when she got this car... Uh, In 2004. It had been sitting for 15 years. Yeah. So the lady did the right thing. She put a new battery, new tires, and new plates on it. And put it for sale. Oh, I see mouthpiece. And, uh, yeah, let's step back. So then, this was one of those actual tires. That she replaced? Yeah, this was a brand new tire on the car when you got the car. Mm. So this is actually the original rim and tire. One of the, you only have one left because they're all gone. Mm -hmm. But this is the original rim and tire when you got the car. It's a Kumo. And look at this alignment. Oh, my goodness. I might have had this on oh, one what? of my cars for a while, huh? There's some uh, mouse uh, evidence. Yeah, I was going to get the vacuum out. It's okay, winter's coming, it slows down. You know, I don't know what they do. They huddle all winter or something. Look at the original color. Maroon. Yeah, bur burgundy? Yeah, maroon, burgundy. Yeah. Look at, that's how you do the jack. Even though you do it your own way. What do you do? With jack does it have? That's not the right jack. You don't even have a good jack. It should have had a bumper jack. What is, is that true? If anybody else has a 69 Mustang, let me know what jack you <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no, it doesn't have it yeah, anymore. Yeah, you guys licking stuff under the muscle. Hey! Is that where it's leaking? How could it be leaking over there? What's under there? Huh? <laughs> he's like, oh, he's, that's just the axle seal he's leaking. Oh, uh, cool. Dad, did you tell them? Junkyard the, dog. Dad, did you tell them the news about the Avalon? Yes. Yeah, the Avalon, I'm not sure. I think Are you it, able to show us the truck right now? It's, we I got mean, a couple minutes before we gotta go. I got, well, you can see the hood. Yeah. And then, that. I don't know if you can see where this was actually smoking. I had to drain, drain I had to, oh, yeah, I had to submerge the, the air filter mm -hmm. to put it out. And you can see it's all black down in here. And then uh, you can look in here. Oh, yeah. too. But uh, the wires are fine. The coil is fine. Uh, everything's fine. So At least your, your foil hold up. So I'm either going to rip the motor or I'm going to rip it apart and put it back together. I have really big... It smells like mold. I have something. I dumped five gallons of water on it. But I have really good success of ripping engines apart and putting them back together. Yeah. I take my time and stuff. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. The problem is these, this FE engine. So the heads, the intake manifold, right, you come look over here. The intake manifold is part of the head. Yeah. It becomes part of the head. And then you got your valve cover that goes across both. Your push rods go through the intake manifold. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't okay. know. You know, it'd be my first time with yeah. this. You know. And then, I don't know. I really like this truck. I don't know. I would have sold it already. It wasn't for Shelby, so you guys could thank her. You're welcome, guys. But she basically told they me. They said not you to. should you look. should have sold it. That's what they're saying no, right now. Look. Look at it, I have a dream of becoming a minimalist. Yeah, that's what so I happen. started thinking about it. Yeah, okay. yeah okay. and here the the clear coat is still holding up fairly yeah, well. Great. Yeah. You know, everything's just dusty. We got a little bit of rain. Good. I've been moving it all around. It's a little quieter the engine and uh and uh it starts right up and the carburetor's been working better. And, got a uh, nice carpet on the dash. Yeah, from the Avalon. I threw that on there. He did that before it started getting motor. 
I don't know. This is on my list. I want to, uh, if this thing could get 30 miles per gallon, this could be my daily. Yeah. Imagine, you know, like I just driving all around, you know, in my rusty thing. Yeah. Someone told me this car really suits me. So, and they're a wise 10 year old. So. Huh. <laughs> she might be watching right now. <laughs> so, I don't know. But yeah, look at extra parts too. Cause I was going to sell it. Look. I was gonna sell it, so I put the extra rim, I put yeah, the extra fender. If you're interested, let us no, know. No, no, no. You all can't afford this truck. SolarAcreC8 gmail.com. No, I, I gotta keep it. It's too cool. I really like it. So if I end up becoming a minimalist or leaving the state, I'll get rid of it. So all right, we got stuff to do. Till then, I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I'll just hang on to the it. The only right? car you can really sell is the Studebaker. I couldn't afford to go get another one. You couldn't, Dad. You can only sell the Studebaker. That's all. All right. Well, look, it might not. It might not run. But I couldn't go buy one. Right. So hey, you know. All right. Well, go finish your chores. Uh, Bye. Okay. Hard to believe this run. No, stop. Dad. That's probably the most dependable one we got. You can see how dry it is out here. Rain, believe it or not. Yeah, we did get a day of rain. Alright, so for those of you that don't live in California, this is called a case of Berea. Popular since 2019 started in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. that's goopy. This is and all there's a sauce and it's messy and it's delicious. You want to make sure that you're not clogged up or anything going on there. You can eat this on. Mm. It's the Trump motorcade right there. Hey, how come these people aren't honking their horns? As soon as I started recording, they decided to uh -huh. stop honking their horns. Save the country, fools. Here we go. There's the... Never surrender, it says. Damn right biblical. Never surrender. All right, so now we're on an adventure. We're on an adventure to a, where are we going? Volcano. We're going into a volcano. Uh, uh, we're going to the town of volcano. Oh, the town of volcano! Isn't this a beautiful drive? Look at this. There's a coffee shop. There's Daffodil the Hill. Oh, there's all kinds of things to check out. So. We are gonna go check so it out. For rusty cars. Yeah. It's a doom bug. <laughs> oh, okay. Because my rusty cars have too many problems. We gotta get some other ones. All right, we made it. Yeah. We're gonna go check it out. See what we can find. There's the post office. So whiskey flat saloon. This is where moose milk was originated from. Please do not vandalize this phone booth. I have no place else to change my clothes. All right, it's the St. George Hotel. Yeah. This is the one they said needs a kitchen on. They got a lot of wood in there. Build a kitchen. Ah! It's beautiful in there. The model of the hotel. This was a cool little coffee shop, but unfortunately the owner's dad sounds like he passed away, so. Why is building about ready to fall over? Just the original building? Looks like it, look. Yeah, I, I don't know, I've never seen anything this old. 
It's the assay office. 1871. Here's the park. And there's the building we were just looking at, the assay office. Coffee shop, general store. Look at the old freezer. Look at this ice in there. Want some ice? Like that's the perfect one right there. And is it a Vespa? That type of vehicle, yeah. Not tip. All the antique. All the cans, look. Holy cow, look at all the saddles. Wow. Look at the lady in the phone booth. Yeah, we do. It's the Sizemore Country Store, established 1852. Wasn't there a debate about it being the oldest one in California? Something like that. I'm going to walk across and see that. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I just want to pop my head in over there. Oh, look. Black Chasm Cavern, half a mile. It's a volcano park. Look, here's the guy, discoverer and founder of the California Carrara Marble Quarry. He looks like it. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Most of the marble was used in construction of Stanford University and many of San Francisco's civic buildings including City Hall. The drive took us a little bit longer and now Shelby's saying we gotta come pick her up so it's yeah. the express visit. We got timed out. Yeah we did. Dang, it takes a while to get here through the woods. I don't want to be late. We probably should just start heading out. See? They're selling art. Wow. Good morning, rattlesnakes. Where are we doing now? Well, Brandon bought cheap pizza, so I got pizza. We what gotta are we go. Doing? We gotta go eat it at this cool place where we've been before. We are going to eat cheap pizza at a mining at a mining property. Yeah. Because why not? Because yeah. If I had power steering, we'd be drifting right now. Whee! Probably get kicked out, I drift. Yeah. So you did it anyway? Oh my god, uh, stop it. <laughs> Real history. That's before we get there. No one knew. <laughs> we would come in slow. <laughs> 250,000 miles and it still got sideways. <laughs> Almost there. We're home. That was pretty good. Uh, I just punched it. Yes, you did. <laughs> video to uh, link put a link uh, for the video when we came here before and checked it all out it'll be right here on the bottom this is what youtubers say it'll be right in the corner right here the link it won't be it though. won't be no one ever does it <laughs> they they're over there uh, fighting the meat bees now I'm over here <laughs> Look at these weirdos <laughs> walking around in weird circles eating pizza. A bunch of weirdos. Look at all this great machinery right here. And then look, there's new machinery. No pizza? No.
No. There's an airplane. What do I do to my dog? Find a rattler. So did you tell me what this is? Is it? It's not an axle. It's What's an it axle, for? Bro. Move, Shelby. It's for a tractor. I think this is the magic between Teslas. The magic between Teslas? That's how they keep Teslas. It's the inner workings. Can I jump on machinery? I think it's probably some kind of drive, you know? That's what I said! So like there's a, an outer wheel that it sits in? It's equipment of some kind. Because look, it goes that way and then it goes that way, so look. Hmm? You see it bolts on here. There would be an engine that turns it. Hmm. Well, no, you know what? No. This hooks on to whatever the engine is. Mm -hmm. And it's on both sides. That's how this turns. Mm -hmm. And there's something bolts on here it's that smart. it's turning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this Did is you get your uh, bachelor's degree in bullshit? No, it's true because this is like a torque converter. Like your transmission would slip on the these. Mm -hmm. And then when the engine turned, it would turn your transmission. I'm lost. Got it. Okay. So if something turns here, at least go into some kind of gear. Right. It's similar. It turns. Mm, what the heck? Maybe that thing right there. Because look at the end of that thing. Oh, yeah. Or it's the same design, you know, they use the same yeah. design. Yeah. There's an ore oh, cart. Yeah, look, they could go in these holes. Gold right. pan yeah. today. Can yeah. I gold pan? No, we don't. We're not those kind of people. So. Sorry. I'll offer them pizza. You want some pizza? Yeah, because look, look, the holes would match. Look, you're right. That's the engine. Oh my goodness. We found it. Is it the engine or is it whatever it does? No, it's the engine. They turn it on. What is it? Uh, by, by fire? Because um, look. This is the engine. The fault? Company. What does it say? S1 Milwaukee West Wash. From where that cheap beer comes from. <laughs> get the ore. Get the ore. Locked up. Yeah, your WD-40. What do you call it? Your juice? Oh man, it's like half the car size. Look, there's your barrel. I know it's nicer. Look at that. that. Look at that handle on it. Nicer than that. Hey, this is the same exact barrel. Look at the, the, the yes. bolts on the side. Even. That's what we said. Holy crap. I found mine buried in the ground at a mine. Well, then there you go. Are you going to take it? Well, mine didn't have these. Maybe yours was a stationary bucket. Wow, this is sweet, huh? Yeah. You're like, how could you have that? Oh, they're for like grinding it up, huh? Yeah. Look, it's wood and metal and fabric. It's like canvas. The tree is as tall as the thing. You can't even see it. The top of the... Well, I hate to tell you, the shaft isn't going to grow any bigger. No, that shaft's full growth. It's fully erect. It's right to the point. <laughs> You're so gross. What? I'm talking about this tree. What was first, the tree or the or the uh, building? Well, I would say the building. That's a good question for the paid uh, the docent to help they you. They built the building. They said that little tree will never reach the top. And look at it now. So we were talking to one of the docents and he said we could take whatever we, Who did what? we wanted. A docent? A docent. That's the people that work here. They're called, they're called docents? Oh, you're an idiot. What's that mean? Helpers? Just a, a host. Oh, never heard so we decided to take this little trail. We'd taken it before. We're looking for land. Homestead land. I'm trying to give you a different video than the other one, yes. just in case for like the three people that watch all of our videos, we they're like, oh, America I already now. did this. We live in America now, so you have to get now? a property, well, the new America. So you have to buy a property. When you look for property, you have to make sure it has nothing of value, no minerals, no water, no... So desert. Basically, no way anyone's ever okay. going to want your land for any reason, and you'll be miserably hot there, and then you buy it. Huh? Are you looking for snakes? Yeah. No, I'm just saying, you know, so they don't steal your land. Yeah. Okay. Is this an element? I mean, an elephant. It has the little Looks hole. like it. Like where it comes out, like the when they do the water. That's called a trunk? Yeah. 
Looks like a, a butt nugget. Wait, there's something. Some kind of acorn. No, stop, stop, stop. <gasps> wow, you found mummified poop. Oh. Don't worry, it's sanitized over eight. I don't think that. <laughs> Brayden says it used to be a water tower. Yeah, you can tell because of how it is. Those were its legs. Yeah. Why? Instagram people. Instagram people, what is this? What's the white stuff? Spider webs. No, it's dry. Yeah. It's dry. It's spider webs, Shelby. No. Look, yes it is. It's eggs. <laughs> Do you spy a Mustang? Do you see a Mustang through the brush? And there's the mine shaft right there. You can see the big wheels. Let's see if I can zoom in. There you go. It's a better view of the mine. Now I think that you can go underground if you if you spend money. Yeah, right in here. This give us the lid. And then inside, that's where it puts lotion on its skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't go in there, you have to put the lotion. <laughs> you know, that's probably the most uh, like What's culturally the most relevant thing? joke you've ever made. <laughs> and how do you even know about that? Because I remember the guy's super calm. He's like smiling. He's yeah, because he's a psycho. Alright, that's enough. That's that's not what we're doing. <sighs> Anywho. Yeah, I would have never got that far where I was in the hole. The sun is not helping with the video very much. Oh look, there's the there's the house right there. This is the ideal spot to put your tiny house. Yeah. Look at this. Totally. Look at under this tree. Yeah. Look. look at looking at that. And then and then when we're fighting, we could yell from the tower. I I'm not going up there. Well I could be up there. You'll be on this porch in the tiny house. You jackass. And then I'll be giving you the thumbs up. And you'll be giving me the thumbs up. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, they're on a tour. They're not real, sweetie. They were there a hundred years ago. Must be how George Washington felt. There's old glory. There's a mine. On a porch just like this is where George Washington came up with this whole idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I love you, George Washington, if you're watching this. You need to reincarnate and save this place. Oh, guys, look, you can see the staircase. Yeah, they put rope lights in here. Well, they probably have. Oh, it's a mister, is it? Yeah, it is a mister. Yeah, that doesn't seem. Uh... Yeah, look, there is lights. Look at this See that there's lights. Oh, there's a third floor? Yeah, you didn't know. Oh, look at the creepy light. Yeah, I know. They're everywhere. Look. Dang, back in the 190 years ago, they had the same pencil shavers we had as kids. Girl. See it right there? <laughs> it looks gigantic because I didn't realize it was right there. Yeah, I never understood why I had different sizes. Like, we only had number eight. That's no, there's the different. Big... What was going on? Guys, that square has a big bum bum. It's much better. Well, I think this will probably be the end of our video. It was quite a... Uh... Unless, unless we see a Mustang acting like a snake again. It's quite an adventure. Maybe I'll drive home. No, no, no. No, I let Dad do it because I want to make a video and post on my story. Um, thanks for coming along we love with you our guys. adventure. We love you guys. Eat little Caesars in strange places. <sighs> See what Shh. they do. Don't tell people your idea. It's my idea. I open this. You don't. The handle's gone. I know, I stick my, my finger. My dad must have lived here. Yeah. Well, anyway, have a good, uh, Rest you guys this weekend. have a good day. You know how you know something's old? Oh, well, you got this kind of pound. Look at the bug. You ever go to a Ew, bar? Ew, what is that? Uh, oh, a hornet's nest. You ever go to a bar or something and it has this kind of paneling in the, inside the bathroom? That's how you know it's 1800s. Okay. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to lock.
All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. We love you. And I will, at some point, put the video here or here. <laughs> it may not be. <laughs> no, that's where I put our subscribe button. All right, see you guys. Could build something like that. So surprise! I bought I bought the underground tickets. It's your turn. They don't have that. I, I buy that. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, you think I could build one of these? You got confidence in us? It won't be symmetrical. No. <laughs> no it that Remember when we went to Bodie and Shelby was on the mine cart thing? Yeah. I should link that video too. Do we have a there's a lot of poop in there? You gonna get out or not? You want me to get out? Yeah, if you want. I don't think so. I, I hit a rock on it. I know. Alright, ready? Yeah. Uh -huh.